Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use 3D avatars in Video Robot. One of the unique features of Video Robot are the lifelike 3D avatars, which can be lip synced with a voiceover or text to speech. There are two options to use 3D avatars. You can use the 3D avatar pre made templates, and I will be creating a separate tutorial to show you how to do this. The other option is to use the blank canvas, and that's what I'm going to use in this demo. So I'm logged into my Video Robot account. I'll click the Create Video button and choose the blank canvas and then click Next Step. In step number two, you choose a 3D avatar. You will notice two separate tabs for male and female 3D avatars. 3D avatars in Video Robot come as a set that is full length and close up, as you can see here. The number and types of 3D avatars will depend on your level of access. The deluxe membership includes all 3D avatars and they are marked with a blue crown. And you can use only one 3D avatar at a time in a video project. And all the 3D avatars can be lip synced with a voiceover or text to speech. So let's get back to where we were. I'm going to choose a 3D avatar. I'll go with Carlos. And then click next step. In step number three, we choose a voice. We have three options here text to speech or TTS. We can record a voiceover or upload an MP3. I've already created a separate tutorial on how to use text to speech. So in this demo, I'll use the option to upload a voiceover as an MP3. To do so, I'll click this button select from a library. And from the My Media tab, I'll choose an MP3 that I previously uploaded and click OK. So here is the uploaded MP3 and I'll click Next Step. In Step 4, I'll upload a background image by clicking this Media Library button. I'll choose this Business Services background and click OK. And then click Next Step. And here we are in the final step number 5. Let me scroll down. In the content panel, you can select the 3D avatar layer and use the resize and move button and move or resize the 3D avatar on the canvas like so. You can also use the settings button to flip the 3D avatar horizontally like so. You can also add different types of animated elements from the element section on the left and you can then preview the video here. But that's pretty much it. I've created several video tutorials on Video Robot, so feel free to check them out. And thanks for watching!